Hello guys, welcome to practice test training. In this session, we will learn about configuring some of the personal and project settings of practice test. So in order to get started, you can just go to the settings tab at the top, the drop down, and then go to project settings. It will open the project details, but let's start with the personal settings first, and then we'll go to project settings. So click on personal at the top and you will find what all personal settings can be updated for your particular account. So for example, the user settings at the top. So you can change your password. Uh, there is a link to change the password. If you click on this link, uh, which says here to change your password, so you can change your account password. Um, the next thing you can change is your personal information so if you click here you can change your name um, and the time zone as well um, you can also enable or disable the pop-over pop-over are the important hints provided whenever you hover on top of IDs of your entities so for example in like certain places you'll have um, important IDs or important information if you select this pop-over it will provide you that info uh, you can also enable keyboard shortcuts or disable the keyboard shortcuts by clicking uh, by checking or unchecking this keyboard shortcut uh, tech, uh, shortcut box um, the next section is the default dashboard settings so by default your default dashboard will be the first dashboard that's available in your project if you want to customize that dashboard you can go ahead and customize click on this customize dashboard link and customize that particular dashboard or you can create a, a new dashboard and assign the new dashboard as your default dashboard so for example I have multiple dashboards here so I can select any of those dashboards so RCV tab or RCV test dashboard as my default dashboards the next section is around personal email notification which is very very important feature whenever you are tracking the feature or issues or any requirements uh, test sets or test runs within practice test so let's go ahead and see each section by section so for example on issue changes so if you select for all issue changes the first checkbox that means any issue that gets updated in that particular project you will get notification for that and this is important for manager and senior people but not especially if you are you know like a test tester uh, you wouldn't want uh, to be included in each and every issue notification unless you are kind of owner or you are you have raised that particular issue so that's why by default you'll find uh, where i am the author of the issue and where the issue is assigned to me as checkbox as as checked so if you are the author of an issue yes you would like to see the notification what happened to that particular issue how it is progressing and when it is assigned to you so that you are aware when you need to verify that particular issue so the next section is around the test changes so first text box uh, first checkbox for all test changes is more relevant to the test manager and senior stakeholders who want to have a look or have a um, updates on all the issues or test changes going on in the project but uh, for you specifically if only if you are the author or you, the test case assigned to you you would be more interested to get updates on the test changes if you are the author or you are assigned to the test so in that case just check these two check boxes uh, to get the notification email notif notification for the test changes similarly on test sets and test runs so when a test set or test instance is assigned to you then you would get you would like to get the notification in order to make sure or, or if you are if you're deselecting this option 
you won't get email notification and you will have to go to uh, the desktop uh, I mean practice test dashboard to see what has been assigned to you um, but if you if the email notification is turned on you will get an email saying this issue has been assigned to you so you are on top of all the all the test set and test run assignment and you can you know like work proactively whatever tasks are assigned to you so other options available in test set and run is when a test run starts when a test run is completed all the steps have been run or when a test run fails so these are more of a um, relevant check boxes for the test leads or test managers who want to track um, the actual progress of test runs and test sets then fourth section is around the requirement changes so if you select first option which says for all requirement changes you will get notification or email notification whenever any requirement changes in the particular project this is again more relevant for the project managers to keep track of all the requirement changes that are happening in the project for you it's only relevant if as if you are as a tester uh, working in a project as a tester it is relevant only if you are the author of the requirement or um, if you if you if the requirement is assigned to you all right so if you are just working as a tester um, you won't be authoring the requirement so you, you can uncheck that checkbox where i am the author of the requirement you can just say where the requirement is assigned to you so for example a business analyst completes the requirement and assigns it to you to complete the test cases and test execution then in that case um, you would like to see the notification if there are any changes in the requirement uh, which, which are done by the PAs so once you are done with the with the updates or personal settings updates then you can click on save and will save all the personal um, user settings the next very good feature that's provided by practice test is your bug by mail so for example um, you you have a project's individual email address provided by practice test which is this one you can copy this email and anyone can use this email to drop an email um, to to practice test and that that issue will be logged into practice test with with the description that you sent in that particular email so the email subject line will be set as the issues name and the body of the email will be set as the issue description also if you attach any any documents or screenshots any logs to the email those will be added to the issue as well so we can let's see this in action so i have copied this email and i'll put a description test defect one two three so that's the subject line so that will be the defect description and then i'll say environment test environment and then steps to reproduce Step one and expected result say X, Y, X and then actual. So you'll you'll raise some you know like any defect, something like that. So you'll have you know like the steps to reproduce and then expected result, what you are expecting and what's the actual result. So you can draft an email like that. Um, if you have any attachments logs, you can attach to that email and just click on send. So once you send that, um, if you go back to the issues, you should be getting that new issue. I'll just remove all the filters uh, 
and I'm just checking if that project was a different project. Now it looks like it will take some time um, for the for the email to for the issue to get created, but that's that's pretty much how you can utilize that particular email to send an issue to practice test and it will create an issue uh, over in under the issues section. So you can see the details that you provided uh, so the subject line will be the title of the issue and then all of the details will be captured in the issue section so that is about the personal settings the next section would be the project setting so project setting is pretty you know like a quick one so you can change the project name uh, you can assign the project logo uh, other options that you can enable is you know like automated testing and test time management so you can either enable or disable automated testing and time management so that's uh, pretty much about the personal settings uh, raising an issue with the using utilizing the project email um, and then how to update the project settings in the next sessions we will learn about some of the integration capabilities of practice test Thank you.